So the other day I received a package from Omelette and they've sent me a cute hamster cage. It's a white one with a storage compartment and I'll leave some links in the description below where you can find it if you want to check it out. But first let me open it. So this is how it's supposed to look like. So basically over here you have an area where you can put in the litter and then there is a top compartment for the feet and the water and over here you have the storage compartment where you can store litter, feet or whatever. And the cage is ready now. All we need to do now is add some litter. And I'm also going to use some parts from my previous hamster cage. First you need to open it over here. Then you can slide the tube up. Twist it to lock it. Close it. Then you need to push the handle at the bottom. Then you can easily slide this part out.
and fill it with some wood shavings or something else. I actually prefer to use flex looms as I do with my chickens and chicks because it produces less dust but I got this for free so I'm gonna use it and it shouldn't hurt the hamsters but I believe when you have rats and maybe even mice too it's better to use something with less dust so maybe flex looms would be ideal for those too. And when you have like a gerbil or a, a desert rat as they are also sometimes called, you also can add sand or just a box of sand or maybe like completely covered in sand. I also like to add some straw, this is just purely as a nest material, it's also, I mean hay, it's also edible, so they can use it for their nest or they can also eat from it. The stick doesn't really have a function, it's just a natural element, more a decoration piece. And then you can just simply slide it in, and when you hear the click, you know it's secured. And then it's time to lower the leather again. You can put the feed ball on top, it's made to fit in a corner. And all we need to know we need to do now is add the water. Voila, ready to go. So far when I spin the turning wheel, it doesn't make any sound. Or it's just very minimal. So let's hope it stays that way. We'll see when we have some hamsters. And that's also like the one thing that's missing right now and that's the hamsters because Roborowski she died a couple of days ago before I was able to put the new her new cage together but tonight we're gonna get some new Roborowski dwarf hamsters and let's hope they are happy with their new enclosure oh yeah and I almost forgot when you're done with everything you can just store everything underneath in the storage compartment Yeah, it's not really big enough to fit in like a complete bag of shavings but like a smaller bag and a little bit less hay that would fit in together with the feet but I always have very big bales of flex loams or hay or straw or something like that so I don't I wouldn't store it in here anyways so just for the feet and maybe some materials some reserve materials this is just fine 